Hey everybody, Tom Joya from Visionary Music Group here. Hope you're doing great. Continuing with our top 20 mix series. Mix tip number nine, using markers to navigate your session. The obvious choice of using markers would be to help you navigate the arrangement. So marker number one might be the intro, two might be the verse, three might be the pre-chorus and chorus, bridge, etc. They're great, I use them all the time. Here's a couple of more added benefits. If you want to navigate the session without seeing all these tracks, you can use markers for that. So there's a track visibility function in the markers and Pro Tools. Let's say I have those 150 tracks in the session and I just want to work on the drums or the background vocals for a while. I'll have a marker that's track visibility only shows me those things I want to work on. So I always know this marker over here is always for drums. This one's always for background vocals. So when I hit the marker, that's all I see. And I don't have to page up and down. You hit that page up and down button on your keyboard enough, pretty soon you've added an hour of time to your mixing. So use markers to help you navigate your session. Sounds amazing. Tonight, we're gonna.